I'm Patty Mitchell, Senior Executive Research and Development Chef for CraftFoodService.com and today I'm going to teach you how easy it is to make crepes for your restaurant. Uh, first thing we need is to know a little bit about the ingredients. It's flour, sugar, eggs, butter, and salt. A little bit of vanilla if it's going to be a sweet application. If you're going to use it for savory, you wouldn't need the sugar. So to mix crepe batter, all you do is put everything into a blender, mix it up for about 30 seconds, make sure everything is mixed, and then strain it. You definitely want to make sure you strain it. At that point, you need to let the crepe batter sit for about two hours up to a day. I've made the crepe batter a day ahead, and you can even keep it up to two days to use, just to simplify things. I've chosen a six inch or eight inch pan today. This is about six inch diameter on the bottom. And the pan size that you choose is going to be dependent upon what you're going to do, what application you're going to use it for. You're going to use it for a sweet application, a savory application. Uh, if it's savory, you're going to want to have something that's a little bit larger so you could fill it with maybe a poached chicken, using gray poupon as a sauce or something like that. Um, if it's a sweet application, smaller, you can roll the crepes, you can fold them for either application. Uh, one thing crepe batter has in common with other, some other products is it's in the same family as popovers, pancakes, Swedish pancakes, so you might know some of those other products. Now to test our pan heat, which is very important, you want to put a little bit of water in there and you definitely want to hear a sizzle. You're going to go about medium high heat. Definitely want to have some flame touching the bottom of the pan. Often when we cook crepes, the first crepe is your sacrificial crepe. It, for some reason, doesn't always work out the way you want. And it's that second crepe that always works out the best. We have some fat and we have our crepe batter ready to go. The fat I've chosen is clarified butter. And we don't want the milk solids in the butter because they'll burn in the pan. And when my pan is hot enough, or I believe it to be hot enough, I'm going to put a little bit of fat in the pan just to coat it, swirl it around, and then get it out of the pan. For your crepe butter, you want to choose a ladle that's proportionately sized to the pan. In this case, for this six inch pan, I've chosen a one ounce ladle. You put the one ounce ladle right into the bottom of the pan, swirl the pan around. You don't want to swirl it too much, getting it up too high on the sides of the pan because it just doesn't look as nice. It looks a little bit rough. Once it's swirled around evenly, you let the batter sit in the pan until the top is dry. Now, watch your heat, keep an eye on it. If you need to lower it, lower it a little bit at a time. Sometimes you can flip it. If your pan is a very, very good nonstick pan, you can flip it easily. In this case, I'm just gonna have to lift it out of there a little bit with the spatula and then flip it over. I like a little bit of brown color on my crepes. Some people don't like color at all, and that's fine. It's whatever you like. And we just want to let it, let it sit about 10 seconds in the pan before we remove it. When the crepe is done, you're just going to put it onto the pile of crepes that you've prepared. You can stack these up, make these ahead of time, and have them for service. They're very easily stored for future service. You can freeze them for a couple of uh, weeks if you wanted to, no problem. Just wrap them really well in plastic wrap. I'm going to show you two examples of sweet application that I've made today. One of them is some craft caramel that I've put in an ISI whipper, which some of you might have, and with some heavy cream. About one, one part craft caramel to three parts heavy cream. And then you shake it up, you charge it. And I've already filled these two crates here with the mixture. And this one I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of that foam into there. Push that over and I've got a mixture here of bananas that I've sauteed with some butter. Put the bananas into the butter, put a little bit of uh, frangelico in there and then craft caramel. I'm just going to put that over the top. As many as you want. A little bit of the sauce. It's going to be a fast easy dessert. A little bit of powdered sugar. There you go. This one is filled with the craft Philly cheesecake batter, which is a great, very, very versatile batter that you can use for uh, crepes where it's unbaked because it is safe to eat. You can bake it into cheesecakes, wrap that into crepes. Lots and lots of uses on craftfoodservice.com for that product. Lots of tips and ideas. Just a little bit of strawberries tossed with some sugar and a little bit of orange zest with a nice cheesecake in the center. And there you have a fast, easy idea. Uh, craftfoodservice.com has lots of tips and tricks and ideas and product information. Um, thank you for watching.